25th of March this year, there will be a protest in Stockholm outside court. And the theme of our protest will be hashtag all religions must. And in particular, in particular, this UN Convention on the Rights of a Child, all religions must, hashtag, because we want to shine light of the fact that Watchtower and other religions are violating children's rights. And, you know, when we tell people that we grew up in a cult, the normal thing they say that, why don't you move on? And what I say, well, if I move on, who's going to speak for the children? That's me. So I'm moving on, but I'm moving in a better direction. So, and it's important to remember, this is not a protest against the witnesses. I have nothing against the witnesses. It's against the Watchtower Evil Corporation that violates children's rights. And Sweden, according to UN, Sweden is one of the strongest democracies in the world. And in this case, a Watchtower representative is prosecuted and has to answer for this in court and is facing up to two years in jail. So, a good question that we received, and it's a good answer, uh, question and we want to answer it, is why will this happen? Wouldn't his freedom of speech allow him to say whatever he wants without consequences? It's a good question and we just want to answer it. And the answer is no, because as a grown-up, freedom of speech, every freedom, every civil right comes with responsibility. So, my freedom runs it until it hits your freedom. My civil rights is uh, limited by your civil rights. And my civil rights will also be limited by safety concern. Uh, one good example of this would be that uh, if, as a male, I have freedom of speech, while a female co-worker, she has the absolute right of not being sexually harassed. So my freedom of speech, so to say, would be limited by her civil rights. Uh, also, if I wanted to, uh, if I had um, classified information, I cannot really reveal that because it would be a safety concern for my nation, for instance. Or uh, if I want to rip up the Norwegian constitution and burn it, I'm allowed to do that. That's freedom of expression. But if I want to rip up the constitution and burn it on an airplane, that would be illegal because it's a safety concern. And in this case, the witnesses are breaking, uh, the watchtower are breaking the law that's put in place to safeguard children. And that's a crime. So, and you know, just want to show you, don't take my word for it. This is the article 10 of the European Convention of Human Rights. And it says everyone had a right to freedom of expression. That's good. Then it says down here, this article shall not prevent states from requiring the licensing of broadcasting, television or cinema enterprise. The exercise of these freedoms, since it carries with it duties and responsibilities, may be subject to such formalities, conditions, restrictions or penalties as are prescribed by law and are necessary in a democratic society. So what this basically means is if you want to run a cinema enterprise in Europe, you would have to abide by the local state legislation. So if you want to run a cinema enterprise in the Kingdom of Sweden, there's a formality. And that means that every time you have a movie, you have to submit this to a board and say, is this appropriate for children? And they look at it and said, Bob the Builder, no problem, you're safe. It's just a formality. So if you're a sane person, with a cinema enterprise, no problem. But if you are a mind-controlling, fear-mongering, homophobic, doomsday cult, you have a problem. Because when you show this to them and say, can we show this? They say, well, obviously you can show doomsday propaganda to grown-ups, but you're not allowed to do it to children. So most likely, like the Armageddon movies and stuff like that, that would be age appropriate for 16 years and up. And Watchtower knows that childhood indoctrination and fear mongering and making them afraid of their toys and all this shit, they need to scare toddlers. If you tell a grown up that his 
toys will rape him when he's sleeping. Grown-ups don't believe that. They need to start early. So what the society has been doing is they just don't apply with the law. It's a formality and they don't apply with it. So in the end, one representative of the society will be prosecuted for this crime. And uh, I don't want him to go to jail. That's not the point. The point is we want to shine a light on children's rights. Because growing up as a witness, you know, we were told, my, I remember my mother used to tell me when I was four years old that soon the police will come and arrest us, arrest mommy and dad, and they will torture, they will start with daddy. And I asked, what's torture? And she said, you know, they will start cutting off daddy's fingers. And I was, <gasps> and not all of them, just stuck with a little and tie every finger until all the fingers and then all the toes and the arms and the feet little by little and i was absolutely scared and then they do it with mother and imagine you're four year old you're, you're, you're four years old you're thinking about the future with mommy and daddy and then they would do it with my brother so i would have to take care of them and i was absolutely shit scared i was four years old and uh, then they they said you know they would do it to me and don't worry, because if you die, you get resurrected if you're good enough. And my parents always told me I wasn't good enough. No matter what you do, it's not good enough. And it said, if, if you're good enough, God will help you so you're not afraid. And I was shit scared. Obviously, I wasn't good enough. And I remember situations when I was in school and I was standing up because to draw a chicken and I said I will not draw a chicken because chicken originates from egg and egg originates from Easter and Easter is pagan and I thought I would be thrown into a flaming oven like my mother said and she said only this like Sadrach, Mesach and Abednego but no angels will save you but you'll be resurrected if you're good enough and I remember standing there I was shit scared and Jehovah didn't protect me I was afraid and it was so unfair and I remember I asked in an earlier stage mom and daddy what happened if I die and uh, if I don't get resurrected they say well Jehovah will make us forget you so it's be like you never existed and I remember standing there and I was 100% sure I would be burned to death in a flaming oven and it's not a way to treat children and that's why we're talking up about this. The witnesses are nice people. They are deluded and they are doing this to their children. And we can help them by being activists. So, this protest is a secular protest. Hashtag all religions must. And we're having color coding, so blue signs when it comes to human rights for grown-ups and green signs for children's rights. And this makes a good visible display. If we are nine people coming, it will be green, white, blue, green, white, blue, green, white, blue. So we ask all the protesters to express their individuality by their clothing. So if you're a bank, it's not a masquerade. Don't come dressed as Superman, really. Uh, the thing is, if you're working in a bank, you're dressed as a person working in a bank. If you're a hobo, dress as a hobo. If you're a window cleaner, dress as a window cleaner. Because when people see all of us with the same message, all demographics, different people agreeing on one thing, they assume it's important. And we're working against legislations. And that's important because when they see all these people, they see all demographics, they see all kinds of voters. That means my voters and the opponent's voters. We get more attention this way. And we really put some thoughts into this. If you see here, it says UN Convention of Rights of a Child, hashtag all religions must. It's not a complete sentence and that's good because it makes people think. And the reason why we put a lot of thought into this is because we don't want one protest, we want one movement. Because the human rights and children's rights are in most countries. And 
we can use this for protesting. It's secular protest. So there will be no, my Jesus is better than Watchtower Jesus. No, this is secular. And uh, let's say there will be a court case about blood. Well, I can show up with this sign because children had the right to live according to this. If there will be a case against uh, lack of democracy, that witnesses are not allowed to vote, here I am. It's also in the children's rights. And the, re the way we've done these signs, like if I'm having this sign and someone asks me what do you mean, I can just flip it and there's a quotation of the actual law on the backside. So it's easy to show what the society, which law they're breaking. When it came to children's rights, that's much worse. Because if we would write all the paragraphs of the, what the law they are violating, it's too much. Because they are violating paragraph 1, 2, 3, 6, 8, 12, 14, 15, 19, 28, 29, 31, and 34. So even if we had big signs, there's not room for everyone. Uh, all the paragraphs. So we're just on the back side, we have an article written by some faith. Thank you very much. Uh, so that will be our signs. All religions must. And I actually like them because I can show up outside Warwick with this, I can go outside a convention. I can go outside a Mormon church because they also violate children's rights. So you like them. And um, we really got the Watchtower by their spiritual um, anointed balls right now because they are prosecuted for a crime. And I want you to remember two numbers now 97 and 51 because if you really dumb down the Scandinavian system of justice there's two numbers 97 and 51 if they want to put if the government want to put you in jail they have to prove you guilty up to 97 percent i think it is like beyond reasonable doubt so if there's more than three percent doubt you won't go to jail but for me to, or a child in the future to get uh, to sue the society for liability, there's a different numbers. There's only 51. Basically that my argument is better than your, my evidence is better than your. So even if this guy don't go to jail, society already lost because obviously the prosecution believes he will go to jail. But if he doesn't, let's say they only got 95% evidence, uh, it's still over 51. So the society are shit scared because they know 15 years from now, all these toddlers can sue them. So basically these toddlers got the governing body by their, by their spiritual, spiritual anointed balls and we can just squeeze. That's cool. And we're not doing this to hurt the witnesses. I love the witnesses. But we want to shine a light on all the crimes they're committing uh, when they're violating children's rights. And um, I really have high hopes for this protest. It will be the first of many. And uh, it's the 25th of March. And I hope you'll be there. You can contact me on my Facebook page. And uh, big shout out to Christina and uh, Sabina that are also on the planning committee. So, see you in paradise.